Welcome to State Television Company of Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. The 24th regular session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. The Turkish prosecutor's office demanded to drop the criminal cr case against the murderer who killed Randing. Violations of human rights, political prisoners, and the cleaning of Armenians of Artsakh. The Guardian published an article. Archaeological Museum of Tigrana Gert. Axel Bakun's 125th anniversary of the Great Writer is celebrated. The Zorat Monastery St. Stephanos Church will be rebuilt. Armenia have two vice champions in the World Championship in chess. On June 12, the 24 regular session was held on the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. Nelly Hayatunyan, the chairwoman of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, made the opening speech. Armina Gablahamyan, the president of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia in the UN, presented the points of the agreement with a detailed analysis in connection with the issues of intellectual property, genetic resources and traditional knowledge on natives and state of the Western Armenia, our territories that are occupied, including the Republic of Artsakh, and the second part of the agenda was dedicated to the event to be held this year on June 23, regarding with the 8th anniversary of the Treaty of Sivers, which was ratified by the President of the Republic of Western Armenia. The meeting will be held in online format. At the end of the session, a number of other cur current issues were also discussed. The prosecutor's office of Turkey has demanded to drop another criminal case against the criminal organ Samast, who killed Ran Dink, the editor-in-chief of August newspaper, published in Constantinople. It is worth mentioning that after 16 years in prison, Samast was released earlier due to good behavior, so-called good behavior, after which a new indictment was presented to the court against him. In case uh, he have was accused of not being a member of an armed terrorist organization, but committing a crime on the behalf of the organization. The British newspaper The Guardian published an extensive article about human rights violations in Baku, keeping political prisoners and ethnic cleansing of Armenians of Artsakh ahead of the summit of the UN climate change. Baku is authority state and media and civil liberties are limited, write the newspaper. The newspaper refers to Human Rights Watch, according to which it revealed at least 25 cases of arrest of conviction of journalists and activities over the past year. Almost all of them remain in custody. Baku is also accused of keeping political prisoners, states the article. Former Unilever CEO Paul Polman, who now campaigned for climate and human rights, told the newspaper that he also wants to use the summit as an opportunity for the international community too, and to speak about Baku's treatment to prisoners, about which he has serious concerns. Archaeological Museum of Tigran Agert is located in the Askeran region of the Republic of Artsakh. The Armenian King Tigran II, the Great, founded the history of the study of the city in Artsakh, and the materials were found from the exhibition have been presented in the museum. During the 44 day war, Tigran Agert became an enemy of shelling area. As a result, the archaeological site of Tigran Agert was completely destroyed. With the efforts of the Artsakh authorities and the research team of Tigran Agert, the museum collections were evacuated and are in a safe place. And before the war, the museum had become one of the main directions of Artsakh cultural policy. To open a museum next to the exhibited monument was a new practice in Artsakh, and the Grand Agard was the first example. The museum had about 30,000 visitors a year. Various cultural events, intellectual games were held regularly, and the Vartava holiday was celebrated here in recent years. In the Tigran Agert Museum, a part of the items discovered from the exhibition since 2005, the best examples were displayed. On the occasion of the 125th anniversary of the birth of the famous writer and novelist Axel Bakunz, our group of writers and representatives of the cultural sector laid flowers at the Writer's Memorial. It is placed in Yerevan in front of the house where Axel Bakunz lived and worked from 1927 to 1946. Bakunz's works are staged, filmed, the literary text is revised, but rereading and speech are very important nowadays. Poet translator Shant Makarchan considers Axel Bakunz a writer and a powerful author who left a rich literacy legacy of the 20th century. The 125th anniversary of Bakunz will be marked with many other events. Presentation of Aslamanzian's portrait of Bakunz and murder animation and the special issue of Sunyat's Yerki newspaper dedicated to Axel Bakunz will take place with the Our Lupa application. The works of fixing, repairing and 
beautifying the area of St. Stephanus Church, visitable fence walls and attached dwellings. Of Zurat's monastery of Vyodzor have already started. Zurat's church is located in Yeragis village, Vyodzor region. And Yeragis was one of the famous medieval cell elements of Sunyat's world. From the first de decades of the 9th century to the middle of the 17th century, it was political center of Vyodzor, while playing an important role in the political, social, economic and cultural life of the Sunyat's world. Zora Church is one of the unique monuments of medieval Armenian architecture. The building has a unique architectural design that is not typical of, of traditional Armenian churches. The structure is special in that the tabernacle is built higher than usual. The reason is that it served for the enemy going to war, so that the warriors could receive a blessing from the church before leaving. We have vice champions in the world championship among youth under the age 20. 70 years old chess player Remy Nohanyan scored 8.5 out of 11 possible and shared the first and second position with the athlete representing Kazakhstan. With additional indicators, the chess player became a silver medalist. With additional indicators, the chess player became a silver medalist and it should be noted that 20-year-old Maria Mukherjan is the women's international master, the champion of 2022 Eastern Armenian Women's Championship at the Under-18 World and European Chess Championship for Girls. This was all for today. Goodbye.